So the question today is, why is cabaret not about the singing? Well, I will tell you that this is a this is a question that I had to ask myself when I started to delve into the world of cabaret. Because of course, for my entire career as a classical singer, I was used to thinking about performance as being all about my voice. Everything that I did, the way that I communicated and told my story and everything was how I used my voice. But when I started working on cabaret, all of a sudden I realized that it was not about my voice. When you're singing cabaret, you are not presenting your voice in a way such as being on a recital stage. Okay? Cabaret is an intimate conversation between you, the artist, and the audience that you are singing to, okay? And think about it. Why is it intimate? Well, most of the time when you're singing cabaret, you're singing in a very small venue, right? I mean, your audience might actually be two and a half feet away from you, okay? And so therefore, people that are two and a half, way, two and a half feet away from you don't wanna be yelled at with your big voice. Okay? They want to have a conversation with you. They want to be part of the stories that you're telling. And so therefore, singing is not about your voice, or cabaret is not about your voice. It's not about the singing. It is about communicating your story through the lyrics of the song. Okay? It is the lyric and how you communicate it that is the most important thing. And so it's very, very important that when you're singing cabaret, that you're not just making beautiful sounds. It's not about necessarily making beautiful sounds. Of course, Making beautiful sounds is a great thing, and I'm not trying to encourage you to make ugly sounds, but I'm saying that that is not where the crux of, of cabaret lies. I was speaking to uh, a, a cabaret artist a few years ago who is rather well-known, and they were telling me that, you know, they went to see a performer that actually didn't have what we would conventionally say is a beautiful voice. As a matter of fact, this particular singer had really only like a six note range, okay? But my friend said that it was one of the most compelling performances that they had ever been to because didn't matter what the voice sounded like from this singer. What mattered is that this singer was so in the moment and utilized every nuance of the language and the lyric to tell their story that the performance was mind-blowing and overwhelmingly compelling. So I encourage you, if you want to sing cabaret, don't think about it as making the most beautiful sounds that you can make. Start with the lyric. Tell us your story through the lyric. That comes first. And then the singing can come later.